50 years after Leatherface's killing spree in 1973 where only a single person called Sally survived, young entrepreneurs Melody and Dante travel to the abandoned Texas town of Harlow, to auction off old properties with an idea of creating a trendy and heavily gentrified area. They are in the company of Melody's sister Lila and Dante's fiancé Ruth. While inspecting a dilapidated orphanage, the group discovers it is still occupied by an elderly woman called Ginny who claims she has papers to prove she still owns the property. Their conversation is briefly interrupted by a silent and towering man from upstairs who Ginny softly instructs to go back upstairs. Dante arrives with the sheriff to forcefully evict Ginny from the orphanage, an aspect that causes her to have a heart attack. The sheriff together with his partner decides to rush her to the hospital where they are accompanied by the mysterious man who is upstairs together with Ruth. While en route to the hospital, Ginny dies and Ruth texts Melody about it. The strange man goes berserk and ruthlessly murders the officers, leading to a crash. When Ruth regains consciousness after crashing, she witnesses the man, now revealed to be Leatherface, cutting off Ginny's face to wear as a mask. Ruth manages to radio for help but is ruthlessly killed by Leatherface, who then makes his way back to Harlow. Sally who had survived Leatherface's previous killing spree 50 years ago, overhears Ruth's distress call about Leatherface's murder of the police and heads out to investigate. Meanwhile, an investor called Catherine, along with a group of potential buyers arrive in Harlow on a large bus for a sightseeing of the place. Melody's sister Lila becomes friends with a local mechanic Richard, where she shares her story of being a survivor of a school shooting and she is thus utterly terrified of guns. When Melody reads Ruth's text of Jenny's death, she decides to take Lila and leave but they are stopped by Richard who overheard them speaking of the old lady's death and thus feels they forcefully evicted Ginny from her home. He takes their keys and agrees he will only give them back on the condition that they provide him with papers to prove they rightfully remove the old lady from her house. Melody and Dante return to the orphanage to try and find the papers. Melody discovers papers that indicate Ginny owned the house and thus they had wrongfully evicted her from her house. Leatherface makes his way to the house and starts by mutilating Dante. As Melody goes back downstairs, she sees Dante lying in a pool of blood as Leatherface proceeds to cut open his jaw. She goes into hiding under the bed and watches as Leatherface retrieves his chainsaw. A thunderstorm hits Harlow as night falls where Lila takes cover in the bus with the buyers. Dante manages to stumble out of the orphanage where he is discovered by Richter before bleeding to death. Richard readies his handgun and goes into the orphanage to investigate what was going on. He is met by Leatherface who manages to get an upper hand him and then bursts his brains out using a hammer. After witnessing the horrors of death, Melody masters her courage and then tries to escape the orphanage. She comes face to face with Leatherface who tries to kill her, but she evades him and then makes a run for the bus. Leatherface pursues her and proceeds to brutally kill everyone on board except Melody and her sister Lila who had been hiding in the bathroom. The two sisters manage to escape the carnage and come across Sally who tells them she is after Leatherface. Sally uses the two sisters as bait and draws out Leatherface. She tries to battle Leatherface, but he seems pretty strong for her and eventually, he sticks the chainsaw right through her chest. As the sisters try to escape, Leatherface uses his chainsaw to knock them of course, causing them to crash. A now dying Sally tells Lila that they should not run but face Leatherface as if they do, he will never cease from hunting them. Lila takes Sally's shotgun and pursues Leatherface into an abandoned building where she finds a trap laid for her. Leatherface ambushes and attacks her, but she is joined by her sister Melody with whom they work together to knock him into a pool of water where he sinks to the bottom. Believing they are safe, the girls start a drive back home as they talk of moving to Harlow. Suddenly, Leatherface who it seems never died emerges and drags Melody out of the car before decapitating her as Lila watches from the self-driving car that takes her out of Harlow. <laughs>